Hello and welcome to another five minute drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw a hot rod. So the first thing we'll do is a front wheel. Try to get as round as you can, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect, but if you do make a mistake don't keep drawing over it because you'll just draw attention to it. The next thing we need to do is work out how far back to put our back wheel and we're using our wheel as a unit of measurement so that's one wheel, two wheels. I'm going to do my wheelbase slightly shorter than usual so it's a bit more of a caricature. So I'm going to use two wheels before I draw the next one. If you want to do it realistic proportions do two and a half wheels, put the wheel slightly further back. So this second wheel I'm going to do slightly bigger than the first one. It doesn't matter if yours comes out way bigger, that could be quite exciting. Or if it's the same, that doesn't matter either. If it's smaller, that might be weird. <laughs> so the thing with this car is, um, it's going to be lower at the front than the back, so everything's going to have a slight slope on it, instead of being horizontal. So we'll do a horizontal line across here, which is going to be the bottom edge of the front, and then just where it goes past the wheel, it's going to start tipping up and go up to above the centre of the back wheel. Like that. And now because this is the tilt of our car, everything that would normally be a vertical line is now going to be slightly angled. So remember when you do your radiator and these lines to do them all with a slight tilt on them. So the first one will be the radiator, level with the centre of the wheel. So a pair of slightly tilting lines there. And then we'll do another one. Um, about three quarters of a wheel back, so from from here, three quarters of a wheel, something like that. Remember to put that slight angle on it. And then another one, about there, a bit front edge of the door. So our radiator goes up for a bit and then it rolls away from us, it has a curve on the top. So that would be where the curve starts. And that's also going to be a line that we take across to here. So um, we're going to leave this part open so we can see the engine. So this curve here will go across and then we need a line going all the way from here back to where the wheel starts. And it needs to be parallel to this, so tilted. It slightly, might get slightly bigger there but I'm not going to draw attention to it. And then at this point you want to curve down around the back wheel, like this. Okay. So here's your basic kind of Ford hot rod layout. So now's the fun stuff. We can put finish off our door. Something like that. It's just a box. And we ought to do the engine, shouldn't we? So that's just uh, the main thing you see is the rocker cover. Some kind of box like that. And you can do whatever details you like on there. And under that are the exhausts. I like those trumpety ones that kind of stick out like this at crazy angles. And there's loads of different ways of doing exhausts. And then on top of that you'd see the carburetors. I quite like those ones with the funnel, sort of bent over funnel type in intakes. Don't know what they're called. And then you'd see the, maybe the bell, bell housing, maybe some electronics or bits on there and some wires. And the radiator we need to finish that curve over, so it's like a tombstone. And we can see a bit of that back face of it there. And usually the water pipe going to the block and a filler cap. Um, now underneath the car you can often see the sump of the engine sticking out lower because it's underneath it would be all dark. And you might see bits of chassis and suspension bits also under there and the ground. And because we want to make this more three-dimensional we'll show the wheels on the far side as well just in silhouette. And I'll darken the shadow on the ground. That'll help make it feel more three-dimensional. And then I'll put an 
much like that there because the metal is kind of pressed in at that point where the wheel the fender would normally go and we'll put door handle some hinges a few scuffs and there's the bottom part of the car the top part can go in lots of different ways so I'm going to keep it just nice and simple and do oh, we must take this line from the top of the radiator across to here as well so I'm just going to make it a simple roadster so no roof and just show that the steering wheel and that's mine finished but if you want you can do various different sorts of this you look. You might put a roof on or a convertible roof or all sorts you could have a yeah pickups and whatever you like the world is your oyster have fun but there's your basic forward hot rod hope you enjoyed that See you again for another one soon.